Hello and welcome to Hardway Learning, where we look stupid so you don't have to. Learning today is an exciting day because we have acquired a DS1 uh, from Dino Spectrum. This basically allows you to log everything from the computer, flash files super fast, as map switching, switching, rolling anti leg, flux fueling, and just overall is a really, really, really great system to be working with a stock ECU on these uh, these cars. But enough about that, let's show you how to install it. First thing you want to do is connect it to the OBD2 port down by the uh, hood release. But before you do that, look at the back of your DS1. It'll have the Wi-Fi password on the back. And then you will go to your computer and connect to the DS1 using your Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi password. You go to your browser and you connect to your DS1 using 192.168.4.1. We are now connecting to the DS1. <clears throat> kind of weird that it's okay so the first tab it shows is internet if you need to update which uh our tuner told us to update update the uh the ds1 with the latest factory and obd versions so what you can do is select you can scan for wi-fi networks select which wi-fi is yours and tell the ds1 how to log into that then you'll come to the update tab and check latest and as this says, we're using the latest of both. You'll follow these prompts until you have the latest versions of both the factory and OBD. And then your very first flash, you come to ECU. You want to do a full stage zero flash. You click that, full stage zero. Are you sure? Hit yes. I've already done that. So once you've done that, you'll go to the files tab and all of the off the shelf files will show up. So uh, what our tuner wants is the highest stage file. So we downloaded that. We downloaded the stock cal, and then we downloaded the XDF. This is everything our tuner will need to create a new file for us based on all of the modifications that we have to the car. SRM low pressure fuel pump, Silly Rabbit um, GTX 35 hybrid turbo, uh, the APR 1000 port injectors, IROS downpipe, intercooler, blah, blah, blah. You want to make sure the tuner has all of the hardware changes so that they can make an accurate file for you and then you'll email those files off to them and they will send you a new file so what once you have that new file you will want to upload it to the ds1 so you go choose file um, and once you've downloaded from their email you go to your downloads you select file hit open and then you will hit send and that file will get uploaded to the ds1 we come over to ecu and we will do a cal flash. We select cal flash, and here's the files that have been loaded. So we already have our second revision uh, loaded, so we would then select this file. It says, are you sure? You hit yes, it'll take, oh, the uh, full stage zero flash takes like three to five minutes, and then a cal flash is like 30 seconds to a minute. We'd hit yes, it would flash it. Um, you wanna make sure your battery's good, so I like to use a tender. Car needs to be off. It needs to be in accessory mode when it flashes, and then it'll prompt you to it'll prompt you to turn accessories off. So you press this once, ECU shuts down. You wait ten seconds. One one thousand, two one thousand, blah blah blah. Turn it back on, and then you go and drive. All right. So you're asking yourself, do I have any clue as to what I am doing? No. Not at all. Well, we've got this new DS1, and we have a new CAL file, and we have to see if it is uh, working correctly. So I was told, get some normal driving in, lock that, then get a third gear pull from 2000 Redline. Gotta give him what he wants. Second revision with uh, with the DS1 car is feeling a whole lot smoother, a little bit spicier. Cool. We like this. <laughs> We got a, we got a tape 
redeem ourselves yeah. before we lose our license. The key word right now is how smooth this thing feels. It is so much smoother. The power delivery from the passenger seat even is just chef's kiss. towards a pothole, trying to miss a different pothole. Welcome to Minnesota.